We're on your side tonight getting answers after so many of you reached out to us telling the stories of your travel nightmares at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. And as those problems have persisted, we have pressed the airport for answers. WBTV's Claire Kopsky has been digging deeper. She joins us live from the parking area at the airport. That's often the first pain point for travelers. So Claire, what'd you find out? Well, Jamie and Siobhan, it's not only painful, but can often be expensive, especially when you pull up to the parking lot you wanted to park in and you realize that it's reservation only. Well, in a moment, you'll meet a woman from Conover. She recently spent nearly 13 hours at the airport just trying to catch a flight out to go see her niece to help her get ready for prom. All of his stuff. Karina Minton's travel nightmare started in the parking lot. Like she always does at Charlotte Douglas Airport, she pulled up to one of the long term parking lots. And there was a gentleman there working and he said, do you have a reservation? And I said no. And he said, well, then you'll have to park up at the hourly. An unexpected expense that she said was more than double what she expected to pay in long term parking. That's just not right. If I had known that I needed to make a reservation, I would have made a reservation. Hours later, her seven o'clock flight got delayed for hours until it was finally canceled at 1030. I decided I'll go try all the different airlines. There was nobody there at 1030 at night. Delta, American, there was nobody there. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to get on my phone and just try and find a flight myself. She found one for 630 the next morning, but then had to exit the terminal to deal with her checked bag. And I have to go get my bag because my flight can't leave until six o'clock the next morning. It's an hour drive for me. By this time, it's 11 o'clock at night. By that time, TSA was closed. So she found a spot in baggage claim and dozed off. In the middle of the night, she woke up realizing she was head to head with a person experiencing homelessness. And it was scary for me as a single woman flying by myself. Sadly, there was a lot of homeless people that were there and um, made me feel a little uneasy because there really wasn't any workers. There was no customer service. There was no security that I saw. I think that they need to address the safety concerns exhausted. She caught her flight out the next morning, but decided to reach out to the airport's customer service. I called all the numbers online. Um, every time I got in touch with somebody, they said, oh, no, you got to talk to this person. They gave me a different number to call. I did that probably about three times. She finally decided to submit a complaint in the airport's online portal. And that was on June 3rd, and I still have not heard from anybody about my concerns or anything like that. The city of Charlotte's recently approved budget shows by June of 2025, the airport anticipates $120 million in revenue from parking alone. That's a 22% increase from 2024 before accounting for the jump in parking prices. But flyers like Minton want to know where all of that money is going. There is really no joy in flying anymore, and that's kind of sad. I asked Charlotte Douglas when flyers can expect more parking spaces to be added in the long term area. They told me right now there are currently no plans to add more parking spots in those lots. I asked if reservations are going to continue to be required in all of the long term parking lots. They told me that parking lot number two is optional. You can either make a reservation or you can drive up. But as you look at the signs here today, parking lot number two says that it's closed. Additionally, we address Minton's safety concern about people experiencing homelessness and baggage claim. They responded in a statement by referring us to their airport premises access policy that went into effect July 1st. It states that the airport only grants authorized access to those who are on Charlotte property for aviation business purposes. They told us that they are working with a local organization, Hearts for the Invisible Char Charlotte Coalition, to support any unhoused individuals at the airport. Now, Minton said says that she is glad that they have addressed the homeless concern here at the airport and hopes that that continues. She says that she hopes that late night staffing and also more work onto the parking is on the improvement list next. We're live in Charlotte Douglas Airport. I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV on your side. Every day, uh, another story of someone having issues at CLT. Uh, Claire, thank you.